Hello, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' What's Cracking It's Today, about to react to this lovely TTV vid. It's titled, Krishan Rock Accuses Her Sister Again of Forcing Her to Do Acts on Her When She Was a Child. Yikes. Um, she's saying that she is accusing her again. I don't know about the first time, but this is wild. This is pretty heavy, but yeah, let's hear what she has to say. Let's watch. So, as of yesterday and today, Krishan Rock and her sister Tasiki are currently trending all over social media. If you guys do not know, this entire situation is crazy. I covered it a year ago, and now it's back in the forefront. So, Krishan, who claimed oh, to have wow. found God, went to jail. I gotta educate myself more on the word of God lately, and it's, it's going great. It's going great. I love it. I kind of oversaturate myself with the word of God. To the point that's all I do. So I'm um, like falling asleep. I'm literally falling asleep on the Bible. You remember she blasted Zeus, said Zeus was trying to scam her, didn't even have to slap Lemmy because she was being, you know, unfairly treated. Party or whatever. Uh, we just gonna follow up. Uh, I'm glad you, you fuck with Krishan. And then he grabbed Lemmy by his neck. It was like, but do you fuck <laughs> with her? Don't play with her. All she needs is love. Don't play with her. Don't play with her. And I didn't understand that till my checks start coming back short from the subscriptions of Crazy in Love, till he started putting people, like personally putting people that doesn't fuck with me, that I had like street beef with on the show. Um, where is the security at? Well, now it looks like Rashawn Rock has come crawling back to Zeus Network. And of course, she's trying to make a name for herself and go viral once again. So, y'all know Zeus has absolutely no shame. They decide to release the trailer, and in the trailer, there's a video, a seven-second clip of Krishan basically confronting Tasiki, but Krishan Jr.'s in her arms, and she did that for a reason. And in this clip, she's accusing Tasiki of basically forcing her to eat Tasiki out when she was seven years old. This is disgusting and disturbing. Y'all go ahead and check this out. I remember when this I was done. You made me eat your pussy. You said what? I'm done. I'm done talking. Bitch, you're going to fucking jail. Defamation of character. All right, so you guys just saw that clip. And like I said, this is part of the no, news network about that. trailer for Baddies Midwest because you can't let a good crisis go to waste. Now, what's very interesting about the situation, like I said, um, I covered this a year ago. But in that clip, Tasiki also says that she's going to sue Krishan Rock. Anna Mack also confirmed this as well. Anna Mack took to social media and she said this. They are not cool. Krishan was just scared to fight her. She said she wasn't going to put the baby down. So Tifa, don't hit her. We are not allowed to clear the air. Just know, terrible. She's suing Krishan, everything. They are over Krishan's here asking her that. to That's please not, not do anything with legal issues. But it's getting to that. So the reason why Tasiki wants to sue Krishan, as we all know, Tasiki is looking to build her music career. You know, she's a pseudo celebrity because of Zeus Network. And Zeus Network doesn't want any legal ramifications because of all the nonsense that are being whispered about Zeus Network. And if they end up doing a discovery, it could fuck up the whole Zeus Network brand. So of course they don't want Tasiki to take this to court. But Tasiki does not want the allegations of child molestation and abuse being tied to her name. But what's very disturbing is that, you know, part of me feels like Krishan Rock is doing this as a get back towards Tasiki because Tasiki basically oh, took Krishan Rock's spot. She came on the show as a eater. Y'all can y'all can say what y'all want about Krishan. She's not the greatest person whatsoever. But it does seem like she's been trying to, you know, go down the right path. And this is just not something you ever lie about or play with. And I can't imagine her making this up. Like, that's just such a very specific thing to to say as well. Like, come on. She's a lot of things. But to say that, oh, she might just be doing this. I don't agree with that at all. That like why would you just make that up just for TV just for ratings and this is your sister this is your blood you're gonna throw your blood under the bus to that degree over something like that I don't I don't I don't think she would do that and while you're holding your child in your hand I don't I don't think she's lying. Beating up bitches, 
You know what I'm saying? Fought Krishan's two best friends. And now everybody has literally forgotten about Krishan Rock. It's all about Tzatziki. And I feel like Krishan is not trying to blast her in a more public fashion. A year ago, she blasted her on Instagram. But now she's doing it on quote-unquote television. So I'm going to go ahead and play a flashback to what went down a year ago. And some of the clips that I have of um, the whole drama between Tzatziki and Krishan Rock. I want you guys to go ahead and check this out. And the fact that she mentioned this before as well, it's like she keeps bringing this up. Like, come on. You don't have to talk about me. You don't. You really don't. You don't. You don't have to talk about me. You don't. You really don't. You don't. You really don't. I don't even know what's up with her. Like, she's trying so hard. Too hard. And keep lying. Let them keep doing it. They gonna die down. They're gonna die down. It's not even that. Why don't you worry about your son and the people that molested your son? Like, what? Like, you keep saying shit. Then you molest my other nephew. Like, she she did some weird shit to Tristan. Like, you want to keep airing people out and lying? I'm not lying. I air the truth. Oh, no. What are you talking about? Man, she's weird, bro. She got shit under the curtains that she'll never speak about. She was a fast individual, bro. Ask her, ask her about what she wanted to play house. Ask her, ask her about what she wanted to play house. Uh, Did, what, no, cause she acting like motherfuckers ain't really trying to touch me. Like right? we don't like each other because our childhood, bro. Don't bring, don't be making shit up. Like yeah, we forgive you and all this other shit. We don't talk about what happened. And, and, and now you're trying to like make it seem like something really happened, something really was going on. First of all, that's all TV. But if we'll be honest, I forgave you, TV, for a lot of shit and still forgive you. Just keep my. All right, so you guys just saw that video. And one thing that disturbed oh, me that I was not ready for is that Krishan said that her older sister used to try and make her play house and that, um, you know, Tasiki was a fast little girl. And so people in the comments were like, hold up, this is insane. You know, Prashad is basically reiterating what their nephew had been saying months ago. So if you guys don't know, there's, oh God, these, these people just have a huge family. So Krishan's oldest, oldest sister, I believe, her name is China. And so this is her son. Her son is Tristan. He's 27 years old. So like for the past, I would say few months, he's been coming out and saying that, you know, Tzatziki and other family members molested him when he was seven years old. And so he's been saying this for a while and they've been kind of sweeping it under their rug. So now with Krishan Rock saying that Tzatziki was trying to play house with her, people are not putting two and two together. The groin in the house. I guess she gave word to the uncles and aunts, which I ain't know, but now I know because I'm older, I'm smarter, I'm more wiser. Back then I didn't know. Yeah, I get in the house. Now my aunt, my other aunt, the older one, she bring me in the bathroom. And when she bring me in the bathroom, she said, you want to fuck me next? I'm confused, bro. I'm seven. I'm like, what the fuck talking about? She like, you want to fuck me next? Um, I don't want to wash this tub because I guess my grandmother told her to um, wash the bathroom. We had chores growing up. Oh my goodness! I think my son got molested by his little cousins. Honest to God. On my Bible right here. That's what she said. And I thought about this shit today. I said it earlier. And I'm like, this is the same one. She couldn't even... Give him a no reply. Why she did it? Apology. She changed the subject and start fucking with my lock. I ne no, no. never forget that. Never. She's like, oh my goodness, I think my son molested him. Bitch, my son just told you you molested him. What the fuck your son got to do with anything going on right now? Did she laugh? I never forget that. That's when I knew that girl was really fucked up. She's fucked up. Fucked up. He told her to her face what she did. And he changed she changed the subject and put it on her side. Like I think uh his such and such cousins man. That's but we lying. But she said but, but she said we lying up. 
I ain't no ugly nigga or nothing. I ain't want to see no shit like that. That's tarnishing my name, making me look yeah. bad. Oh, that nigga, yeah. ill. you been molested. You been. A... Come on now. I came out with that shit because them motherfuckers was lying about it the whole fucking life and they just going around in life like shit was sweet like oh yeah we can molest this nigga we can torture him and we can just walk off motherfucker the only way you can still I ain't even gonna say this this is hard work hey y'all what's up yeah I'm good I'm at work I just saw it but I told y'all my son will be alright mark my word my son will definitely be good okay. she won't pay for what she did to my son trust me she ain't get away with Ooh. that shit alright so you guys just saw those clips and um I believe Something definitely happened yes, to right. their nephew, Tristan. Tristan has said that Krishan was probably one of the only family members who did not abuse him. But in, but then again, him and Krishan are several years apart, so she would have been literally a baby at that point. I believe something may have happened between him and Tzatziki um, because he's been very adamant about this for years, and, and it does take a man a long time to want to even admit, let alone speak about his auntie molesting and that abusing so him. True. The whole situation is disturbing. There are even more clips that have gone viral with Tristan talking about the situation as well. So I want you guys to go ahead and check this out. Man, t ain't gonna admit that shit. Every time we bring it out and bring it up to her ass, you know what this bitch said? <laughs> we was playing house. <laughs> we was playing house. That's what that bitch said. That's disgusting. But what makes this even more heartbreaking and super sad is because your men are very hesitant to come out and speak about this type of thing. So for him to do this is very courageous. And for anyone to shut him down and be like, oh, you making this up, bro? This is bullshit. Like, why would he even subject himself to this? Like, this is embarrassing. It's Some people would view it as embarrassing. And, you know, this is just not something you want to discuss publicly at that so i believe him wholeheartedly what does he have to gain from this if anything he has everything to lose from admitting this so it's just really sad to see men in this position especially women and men like i get choked up when you know women talk about this as well i've reacted to some videos and, and have cried um when children and, and women talk about their experiences also but it's it's also just really sad to see men you know talk about this because a lot of men don't come forward like i would argue that they stay way quieter than even women some women are afraid to come out and speak about this type of thing but men especially are very very he hesitant to come out so this is just really sad so we would play it out First of all, Krishan is the only one person who went viral. That's my baby girl. She ain't do nothing wrong, nothing wrong with Krishan. Krishan is a one. She's a blessed person. And nothing, yeah, nothing gonna come across that. Now, her brothers and sisters? You feel me? You know what they did? Y'all know what they did? I said it in another video. Y'all know what they did? Stop lying. Real. That's facts. Ain't no. Oh, he's lying. He's just. Shorty, I ain't got time to lie. I ain't trying to degrade nobody's career. And I ain't trying to get clout. I'm doing this because y'all just pulled my name up. Y'all woke me up. My mom can sleep. Yeah, the whole family talented. Yes, yes, sir. I'm not gonna lie about that. The whole family talented. It definitely is. Even with Tashika, she talented. A little bit fucked up back then when she was when I was seven years old and they did that molestivity. But other than that, Shorty grew to she's talented. Look, believe what y'all want to believe. At the end of the day, Shorty did that. And my was sick. And my aunt Krishan ain't got nothing to do with it. My uncle Lord PD ain't got nothing to do with it. So y'all keep their names out of that. Please. Cause them people going through enough. And they don't have shit to do with it. I promise you that. My son was seven, going on eight. They was all kids, but they was older than my son, and they knew better. That's what I'm trying to tell you. They knew better. I hug them every day, baby. I got you. I hug them every day. <laughs> and it hurt them more, right, because they keep lying. People in here thinking that it's a lie. They sick, too. They sick. Because who the fuck in their right mind will come on live and talk about some shit like that? Like, make up some shit like that. And that, in the sick, they did, and the... Are he not only talking about Tifa? He was talking about everybody. If y'all, if it was one of our day ones, you would know this. The ones that admitted it, the ones he's not really saying too much about. The ones that apologize, those are the ones he's not really saying about. 
I'm just throwing teeth up. It was literally five of them. Yeah, they wait till a nigga get old as fuck to finally believe in anybody, bitch. I'm old as five. So, yeah, when I was going through trauma as a kid, that's when y'all supposed to be asking me these questions. How is it impacting you now and this and that? Yeah, when I was a kid, when that was happening, nigga, I tried to kill myself. I used to break shit over my head a lot. I used to do a lot of shit, slam my head to the wall to a I'd have been pulled out of every school I went to. I've been locked up by cops in schools. All that, my nigga, I was fucked up. I didn't come here That's to cry. I should have been asking me the questions. But nobody kid, because nobody was famous. So I was just going through hell. Then I got older. The first time that I got molested by their dad, we was living in Pioneer City out Mead Village. Who's dad? God is my witness. Oh, me and my oh. brother was taking turns this sitting on this nigga lap. Period. It's really dark. It was my little brother trying to sit on his lap. I cried like a little bitch because I wanted to sit on his lap and play the game again. And I regret that till this day. Turns got mad, stormed out the room, left me in there sitting on this man lap playing the game. As soon as my brother go out the room, the nigga take these two fingers like, will you tell your mother if I did this and put his shit down in my drawers? Stop playing with me. Period. My story never gonna change because that's what the fuck happened. And the shit y'all did to my son, putting all them dicks and shit in his mouth. Y'all wonder why he fucked up? Why he don't give a fuck? He's no bitch. Let's get that right. He's definitely not. All right, so you guys just saw the oh clips my of God, Tristan and his mother, China. China also talking about being molested by Tasiki and Krishan Rock's oh, dad. I believe that molestation this has affected horrible. this entire family. I believe This that- is why they're so fucked up. Like, and, and it's crazy because... I feel like we as people need to try to practice a bit more understanding, me included. Because sometimes we look at the behavior of some of these people and we're like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Like, y'all got issues. Like, y'all are ridiculous. Y'all are ratchet. Y'all are horrible people. But a lot of these people have horrible past. And obviously, you're responsible for your own healing and to become better. But for some people, it's harder to to overcome stuff like this. So this is just very sad. Uh, if Tasiki was molesting Tristan and allegedly Krishan, it was definitely learned behavior. Because unfortunately, things that happen to children can sometimes be passed on to other children because they don't know any better. They tend to normalize it. They tend to think that it's okay, that this is normal behavior because of what they're being taught by adults in the That's family. Really this whole situation is disturbing. Um, I don't blame to see people trying this. to sue, but I think no, even bitch, more than a lawsuit, you did they all need fucking counseling. Zeus Network has done nothing but... Protect- I blame her for trying to sue. Not People are making this up, and they've been saying this for years. They're not making this up. She's trying to sue to save her ass, And she knows that they can't prove it. So it's like, oh, it's her word against theirs. So she's going to cry defamation and say y'all lying because y'all can't prove this. So that's why she's going through with that. She wants to really play the role in in her innocence. And y'all making this shit up. I don't know what you're talking about. Who would make this up? And for years, like, go to hell. ...situated nonsense and put a spotlight on their family's dysfunction. They need to go to counseling because none of this is normal. If somebody was to touch Tasiki's children, she'd be trying to kill that person. Let's keep it real. Look how she did down in the body. So the fact that she's being accused of this by, you know, by her nephew and not her sister, the mother, China, who is Tristan's mom, has been blasting Tasiki for the past two years. Something's not clean in the buttermilk. And like I always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. Absolutely. So with that being said, I leave it. Oh, my God. This got a lot darker than I thought it was going to get. That's just pretty disturbing and this stuff always makes me emotional you know from the drake situation you know those allegations to r kelly his daughter like these type of things always make me cry i cry when i watch law and order svu okay (laughs) when those stories talk about the innocent like being fondled it just breaks my heart because they're so innocent and precious and you have these disgusting people taking advantage of them it's fucked up and i also recall so many stories that i've heard from people close to me who have had similar situations happen to them like this type of thing in families is very common I feel like it happens quite a bit. A lot of people like to sweep it under the rug and they don't want to discuss it. They want to act like it never happened. But I feel like it's a common occurrence, honestly. And it it just sucks that this happened with them. But yeah, I I wish everybody healing. This is very sad. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.